PPP is set to expire once again on August 8th. And while there are still billions of dollars worth of aid up for grabs, some businesses, as you mentioned, have already spent their PPP loans and are now running out of both time and money. We talked to Ryan German, who owns Cafe Gelato in Newark, Delaware. He used his PPP loan in full to keep his employees on board. Now he's getting creative with his restaurant business in order to stay afloat. If we have to paint houses or power wash or do deck staining, or if we have to rake leaves in the fall, uh, in addition to serving food, then that's what we're going to do. But we, we don't intend to lay people off. It's just that uh, even with all those different endeavors, we do need help from the federal government. We need Congress to act. We need Congress to pass a second round of stimulus. At a hearing last week, House Small Business Committee Chairwoman Nydia Velasquez projected that some 110,000 small businesses have already closed due to the pandemic, and 7.5 million more are facing the same fate. Now, many, as we know, of course, need help, but trade groups are pushing back some of the proposals that have been floated for the next round of stimulus, uh, in particular, a revenue test. It's something that Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin has said that he supports. A revenue test of losses of 50 percent or more, for example, wouldn't apply to Ryan because he actually has gotten creative to stay afloat. He doesn't meet that 50 percent decline, but he clearly still needs help and would want another PPP loan if he were able to apply for one, guys. Back over to you. You wonder, Kate, how much political appetite there is for letting people uh, go back to the well, so to speak. I think that there is an appetite for that just because we've heard from businesses that say that they would be open to it. But I think the higher priority will be targeting both smaller businesses of under 20 or 10 employees and also minority owned businesses has been a big focus. Many say the PPP in its current state didn't serve that cohort of business owners well. And it's something that I think many people want to see a more targeted focus rather on in the next wave of stimulus.